What's up space pups? Jay here and welcome to Magni Box, a game developed by soul developer Joseph Gribben. Um, I think this is the first game that's publicly released, or rather his first commercial project. I think he's been on itch before. I haven't done too much research into that, so you'll have to forgive me about that one. But um, it's a little release that I've been kind of keeping my eye on for a while. It's probably about a half a year or so. I think I saw some gameplay via Game Dev Twitter. So, um, shout out to Twitter. But anyway, let's get started. It's pretty much a, uh, it's a game. It has about 160 levels in it. And your goal, it threw me right in the game. But the goal is to, of course, navigate levels. You get certain powers, such as, um, you're a magnet, so you can attract and, uh, repel as well as just your basic movement stuff. So there's 160 puzzles. I don't know if we'll need our mouse for this, so I'll push it off to the side. But we're gonna play through a, a few few levels. We're gonna play through Purple World, there we go. Um, L is Magnet, hold on. So, oh, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, so Z, is magnet for us. Okay, so Z is magnet on keyboard. I wish I would've got to take a look at the controls for keyboard. Thought we'd be using the mouse, but it's all good. P to pause. Um, we can't just roll there. So we're gonna have to get a little bit creative with this. If we do this, then we're kind of stuck. Hmm. Yeah, if we do this, oh, no, we're not. We can go up. Okay. Yeah, like, a, like I was saying, it's a pretty neat little puzzler. 160 levels. Gotta figure out orientation. That'll be a really big thing with this game. So. I think this might get us what we want. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I really like the art style. It's really nice. The background could have possibly been a little bit um, dynamic with these stars, but it doesn't really take away from anything, I think. I wonder why we would want to do that. I don't think we do, I think we want this. So we can flip all the way over here, and get that done. Ooh, okay, so now we got these conveyor belts going on. I'll push us there. Think, yeah, we just want to use that to roll ourselves. Neat. Yeah, so like I said, 160 levels. This purple world seems to only have 20 levels based on what they're saying at the bottom. So, eight worlds maybe? That'll drop us down in there. Nice. I said the sprite work is really, really good. And it's something so simple too. I wonder if he released this on mobile. I think this would be a pretty decent mobile release. Hmm. See, now we want to figure out how we're going to do this. I think we, oh, okay, we want to push. Nice. Hopefully this uh, playthrough can serve as some sort of guide for anyone who may be using this if they're lost. So, that's the thing. 
don't think the first world should be too, too much trouble for anyone. It seems pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of things that kind of make you think a bit, but it's nothing too rough. Um, we want to get both boxes down here. I want to use this to kind of roll a bit. Perfect. Uh, hopefully everybody's doing great. I know it's... You can pretty much turn into a channel meme. Always apologize and say, I'm sorry for, for the absence. There's not too too much I can do with it. I've been pretty busy doing some game dev stuff myself. I actually made my first mobile game not too long ago, uh, beginning of March. It's on Google Play. You can check it out. I'll have a link in the description below. It's just your another endless game. Uh, but I worked pretty hard on the art, and I think we're screwed. Yeah. Worked pretty hard on the art. Did a lot of it in Illustrator. Which I work in Photoshop a lot, and a lot of people say that Illustrator and Photoshop are the same. But I think... I think uh, Illustrator is pretty tough. I can't move two at once. Hmm. I was just talking about how much this shouldn't be an issue. Here we are. Maybe we don't want to push the box and we want to get down there ourselves. Oh, I know what we did wrong. We're supposed to push that first. Um, I think. a big maybe hmm okay no this one's a this one's a pretty tough one thought purple world would be easy let us on here let's let's push both boxes out here I think that might No, that's definitely not what we want. Yeah, no, it's what we want. We just have to figure out how to get back to the bottom now. Oh, no, we're good. Um, we can just go here, push. That's what I was thinking of earlier. Then this should get us what we want. There we go. Well, this is kind of tough. But yeah, like I was saying, I've been working on some stuff. Working on a mobile platformer right now, so... Um, hopefully that's something you guys can enjoy pretty soon. I'll have some stuff up. I'll put it on the, um... In the description as well. The dev Twitter, as well as my Twitter. Uh, you guys can check out and follow progress. I'll have a link to the Discord server as well. Um, if you guys have any questions. Other than that... That was no bueno. Uh, other than that, you guys know the usual. I've been on Twitch. We've been playing... We finished Hollow Knight. I actually got the 112% in Hollow Knight, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I really enjoyed the game. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I really enjoyed Hollow Knight. We're playing Ori in the Blind Forest right now. So, that's the thing. I'm enjoying that game a lot, too. Both Metroidvanias, but... Um... Oh! That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, both Metroidvanias, but Hollow Knight is more combat-based, aside from one uh, specific area. Ooh. 
But if I push this one to the side, then I've kind of screwed myself because I don't have a way of getting around to it. Gotta think about this one. Oh, uh, no we don't. We actually want to probably push this first. Get that out of the way. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. We want to get this out of the way, we want to push this down. And then instead of dropping down on this, do that. There we go. Okay, these puzzles are really starting to pick up in a very interesting way. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm a nerd though, so. Okay. This one seems pretty straightforward as well. It's kinda... taken be the box to a whole nother level it wasn't something that was supposed to be taken literally oh okay I get it I get it hold on we got the solution right here I actually do want to roll with this soon I failed you all I want to push this, roll on it, then push that, then do this. There we go. Not too bad. Around 19 out of 20. Uh, so we we have to do this. That's unavoidable. Can I fall in magnet maybe? What's the point? Hmm, let's see. Oh, I don't have to. I can drop this on top. So I do that. Okay. We need, okay, we need boxes on both. Whoops. Hmm. We have to push this uh, this one initially. But I don't think we have to push it all the way. I think that's probably where we're failing. Push this down. I can't double box it. Hmm. Man, this is just the first world. I wonder what the other seven are going to be like. I mean, more than anything, this is actually really positive because it shows that. Well, it could be a positive and a negative. No pun intended. Uh, it shows that the game has some pretty challenging puzzles, but then again, if this is... Um, if they don't introduce any new mechanics or anything, then... Uh, it could get old pretty fast. And we'll be able to solve it a lot quicker. Hmm. I can push that all I want. That doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. Alright. Huh. Really gotta put 
really got to think for this one. Okay, I think we may want to push this all the way over. This is the one that I'm most curious about. I'm, I'm assuming you have to get down there somehow at the bottom. There's something, hmm. I can't get past this without pushing it. So I have to push it. And I have to push it again. So this has to happen. Oh no, I got it now. We get this. Okay. Oh man, that was actually a pretty tough one to figure out. Alright, we got the last one of the purple world. How are we gonna do this? trying to think we're okay we're gonna if I do that oh wait no I want to do this because we're gonna need that um okay no we're good because But if I see, then I get stuck. I couldn't get around anyway. Maybe possibly? No. Oh, I can't. I can get back up. No, I, no, I can't actually. Dang it. Thought I would have been able to, to get back up. Hmm. This has to happen. You're gonna hear this stupid thing in the background. This can't have been a reason why I've, why I've been gone. I'm trying to figure out um, moving arrangements as well as uh, shifting careers, uh, doing some contract work and going part-time dev. That's the, that's the goal by the summer. Uh, so, there's that. It's like 1.30 in the morning. And I was still up, so I was like, I can actually record a video for once. So, here we are. This is where we find ourselves. Playing puzzle games at 1.30 in the morning with the uh, have drunken bottle of water. Three-fourths a box of Cheez-Its and white cheddar, by the way. And cold feet. Yeah, that's that's my life right now. I ain't complaining. Uh huh. So there's no doubt that this has to happen. Okay, we want to do this. I figured it out. And we want to flip ourselves so that we can magnet up. Easy. Purple world finished. You have completed the purple world. Uh-huh, yeah, I dig it. Press any key to continue. Okay, and then we get all the green world. Excellent. I'm pretty sure the green world's going to introduce us to the repel mechanic, uh, which is us pushing away from blocks. If you look into the trailer, it's blue blocks. So that'll be pretty exciting because we'll get two ways of movement without rolling. Well, there's the little elevator lifts too, but 
not gonna count those but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like on the video that's how i know you guys are enjoying the series or not and if you have any feedback please be sure to leave it in the comments below uh, good or bad or just a comment saying you miss me i miss you guys uh, you guys take it easy oh wait before we go be sure to check out the description like i said i'm gonna have a link to this game it's like five bucks so it's not very expensive and it feels like just from playing that first world you're gonna get a pretty good bang for your buck um so be sure to check that out i have the link to the steam and itch page whatever platform you decide to buy it off of um, as well as my game dev Twitter and my normal Twitter, the Discord server. If you do pop in the Discord server, be sure to say that you're from YouTube because it's uh, pretty much a lot of Twitch people over there. Not as many YouTube. We got like a couple YouTube folks over there. But yeah, be sure to, to say that everybody's pretty welcoming. They're, I, they're in there memeing. We talk about new games and everything. Um, as well as if you need some place to vent or you got some good news to share, it's all there. Uh, all the stuff, the foundation is there for you to, to talk about that stuff. And last thing is, yeah, be sure to support me on Twitch as well. That's pretty much been the main platform for me. And we have a lot of fun over there. Like I said, I'm currently playing through Ori. Um, trying to make something like this more YouTube exclusive. Uh, just so you guys can get some more love. Hopefully I can keep this up. And yeah, maybe we'll start a challenge, like an upload challenge. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Anyway, I've stretched this out too long. Love you guys. Take it easy. Please be sure to shoot for the moon, not the stars. Go further than that. You know what? Pierce the heavens. Fuck it. Peace, guys.